650 on your Monday morning time for the morning rush. Proceedings are set to begin this morning on the trial of a former Albuquerque police officer in 2022. Officials say that 29 year old Kenneth Skeens, who was an APD officer at the time, is seen on lapel video approaching a man with disabilities, telling him that he would be charged with criminal trespassing before officers took him out of the store. Skeens was later fired from APD. APD is con continuing its investigation also this morning into a fatal crash in southeast Albuquerque. According to investigators, a white Cadillac Escalade was traveling south on Broadway when it ran a red light and struck a white Acura on the driver's side. The driver of the Acura was pronounced dead on scene. The driver of the Cadillac was taken to the hospital with minor injuries. Erica. And here's a look at our school day forecast. It's a cool morning, but a warm afternoon is in store, so make sure you're wearing layers. Repairs to a water main in Knob Hill will have one direction of central closed for the next few days. According to the Albuquerque Bernalillo County Water Utility Authority, repairs are going to be made to the pipe in the eastbound lanes of central at Carlisle. That work is expected to last two to three days. A longtime batting cage in Albuquerque is looking to pass on their business. The Batter's Edge outdoor batting cage is in the middle of the South Valley neighborhood off Sunset. The Rudin family, they are currently the owners of the property. Having bought the cages back around 2010, now they are ready to sell, ideally to someone who wants to keep it as a batting cage. Erica. And here's a look at our threat index. It is low. There will be some Virga in northwest New Mexico that could bring some sprinkles and gusty winds. Members of one Albuquerque uh, group, they are encouraging sustainability this Earth Day. Yesterday, thousands of people headed out to the Sid Cutter Pilots Pavilion at Balloon Fiesta Park. That was for the state's first ever Earth Day festival. Several panels and workshops discussed how people can save some green while also making the world greener. One popular restaurant chain says that they are finding new ways to ensure food safety. Build with Robots is now working with Dion's on keeping the food preparation facility safe. The company's CEO says that the robot Breeze Blue fills the room with aer aerosolized air hydrogen peroxide that kills everything that's on the backside of services. Erica. All right, to check on traffic, the maps are clear, no accidents or slowdowns to report. Trekker is heading east on I-40 near the Big Eye and starting to see some slowdowns there. A woman in Florida is now sharing video of a surprise visitor in her home, Julieta Cuesta and her family. They found this three-legged bear pacing around the home last Thursday. She says that the bear broke the screen door on the porch to get in. Cuesta says eventually the bear got into the fridge, but nothing was inside. Time now for the five facts. At number five, National Volunteer Week is now underway, and one New Mexico National Park is looking for more people to join their team. The Valles Caldera National Preserve is looking for help with welcoming visitors, conducting plant surveys, support on trail projects, and even assisting with research. The park is now accepting volunteer applications. We'll have a link to where you can apply at alwaysonkrqe.com. At number four, members of Albuquerque's Classic Car community are coming together for a good cause. Yesterday, rows of Classic Cars lined up at the New Mexico Veterans Memorial. That was for the ninth annual car show to benefit Honor Flight of Northern New Mexico. All the funds from the event will help to send 31 veterans to Washington, D.C. That's to see monuments and memorials dedicated to those who have served. This year's Honor Flight trip will be June 19th through the 21st. And at number three, it is going to be a warmer day out there. Temperatures climbing back to 80 this afternoon. Make sure you're wearing your layers this morning as it is a cool start. At number two, a longtime batting cage in Albuquerque is looking to pass on their business. The Batter's Edge outdoor batting cage is in the middle of a South Valley neighborhood off Sunset. The Rudin family, they are currently the owners of that property. Now the batting cages were first built back between 1976 to 1980. Now, because of its lengthy lifespan, it's grown to be a community gathering spot for players, parents, and neighbors. Owners say that they are wanting to sell as soon as possible, ideally to someone who wants to keep it as a batting cage. And at number one, proceedings are set to begin this morning in the trial of a former APD officer accused of using unnecessary force against a man with disabilities. In August of 2022, officials say that 29-year-old Kenneth Skeens, who was an APD officer at the time, is seen on lapel video approaching a man at the self-checkout counter at the Target on Coors. The man with disabilities was trying to buy a bike before the officers took him out of the store. Skeens is facing charges of false imprisonment, battery perjury, and making a false report.